terror group Hezbollah are in chaos and disarray after Israel assassinated its fanatical leader in a bunker buster bomb blitz. Hassan Nasrallah died alongside top henchmen when up to 10 high-tech bombs erupted after burrowing into his underground command centre. But the big question here in northern Israel and the wider region tonight is what happens next. Sources I've spoken to here suggest both Hezbollah and Iran will have been stunned by the loss of a pivotal figure who's been a major player here for more than three decades. The force of the blasts which killed Nasrallah felled at least six buildings, including four apartment blocks in the Dahir suburb of the Lebanese capital Beirut, amid fears of spiring civilian casualties. Israel confirmed within hours that its assassination operation had eliminated the cold-blooded terrorist kingpin with the deaths of thousands of innocents on his hands. An Iran-backed Hezbollah would seem to be rudderless tonight after its hated enemy succeeded in taking out its leader and virtually all of its top commanders. The region is now braced for a backlash as the shell-shocked group and its Iranian backers licked their wounds before hatching a revenge plan. And another burning question being asked here in Israel's northern war zone tonight is who will fill Nasrallah's boots. I've spoken to a former analyst with the Mossad intelligence agency today who says next in line for the world's most dangerous job is Nasrallah's cousin, Hashim Safi al-Din. He's a 60-year-old Shia cleric who looks just like the slain terror group chief, but word is that he's already been smuggled into Syria over fears that Israeli hitmen are hunting him down. It all adds up to a period of serious instability which is doing little to calm tensions across the region. And as we await Iran and Hezbollah's next move, little has changed on the ground as Israel continues to pound targets across Lebanon and rockets carry on flying into northern Israel. Nick Parker for The Sun in Haifa in Israel.